calculation of three phase balance for currents. In the last two sessions, we have seen that how to calculate the fault current when the system is unloaded condition. And one method, method were explained for a loaded system by finding out the internal voltages of a generator and motor. Now, for a loaded system, then how to apply the Thevenin's theorem? That is the, it is the second method for the, the loaded system. It is an alternating method of uh, computing short circuit current is through the application of Thevenin's theorem. This particular method is faster and easily adopted to a large network. I am illustrating this particular method with a simple example that is a generator is connected to the, the motor through a line through a line then there is a fault is occurring at the terminals of the, the motor the fault is three phase fault is occurs at the terminals of the motor however the system is loaded the system is loaded therefore there is a fault is occurring at the terminals of the, the motor the first step in this particular method to find out the fault current is that once again you have to draw the the reactance diagram on a common base quantities that is MVA and kilo volt. Therefore, I am drawing here the, the reactance diagram of the, the given network on the common base volt ampere and the voltage. Here, the generator is represented by its internal voltage and its reactance. If it is for steady state, it is XZ. If it is for a transient, it is XG, XG dash. If it is subtransient, it is XG double dash. Then depending upon which current you are interested under the fault condition. Then the transmission line, the reactance is XA I am representing by XC. And the motor is represented, which is drawing a current from the generator, having a reactance of XM and the internal voltage of EM. Then it is a healthy condition, it is a healthy condition, then the current which is delivered to the, the motor by the generator is IL. IL is the, the load current. IL is the load current. Now the fault is occurring at the terminals of the motor, therefore this is a point, that is at point F there is a fault is occurring, at the point F there is a fault is occurring, therefore the voltage across the, the fault point before the fault occurs before the fault occurs that what we are calling is the pre-fault voltage that is vf is called as the pre-fault voltage that is the voltage at the point of the short circuit that is the before the fault occurs before the the fault occurs these are the terminals we are using in our analysis that is the first step is to draw the the reactance diagram on the common base quantities and you have to find out what is the or it is a given value what is a pre-fault voltage. The next step is just I am drawing the reactance, uh, reactance diagram then I am interested in the eminence equivalent circuit which is seen from FG means if it is short circuited if it is short circuited F and G are short circuited I am interested in drawing the the eminence equivalent circuit seen from F and C. For that, what you need is the first Thevenin's equivalent voltage source is nothing but the voltage between F and G when the circuit is open circuited at that particular point. That is FC is open. In that case, if you are measuring the voltage, the voltage what we are getting is the pre-fault voltage. That is the pre-fault voltage. Means it is open. You are not short, yet short circuited. Therefore, the open circuit voltage the open circuit voltage that is between F and G is nothing but at the fault point is called as Thevenin's equivalent voltage. And at the same time you have to find out what is the Thevenin's equivalent impedance or a reactance which is seen from F and G 
shorting the, the voltage sources. By shorting the voltage sources, you have to find out what is the, the impedance or reactance which is seen from the FG that is shorted point. That is Thevenin's impedance or a reactance. Therefore, just you have to see in the next diagram. That is, I am drawing Thevenin's voltage that is nothing but Vf I told you. That is a voltage which is when it is the open circuit. It means when there is no fault occurs. In that case, it is open circuited. Therefore, it is the voltage is Vf. Therefore, ETH is equal to Vf. And the Thevenin's equivalent reactance is that is Xg and Xe they are in series. Then I am reducing that is Xj plus Xe and the Xm in other circuit. Then it is F. This is a point. The G. Just I will show you that is G. That is it is F and G. That is if you are seeing the reactance from these two points means Xc plus Xe is come in parallel with Xm. The same thing is drawn here. It is Xc plus Xe. Then it is Xm. These are connected in the parallel because you are seeing the, the reactance from F and G. If we are finding out the parallel combination of these two reactances, then what reactance we are getting is that is Thevenin's equivalent. That is Thevenin's equivalent. During the fault, the F and G are shorted. Therefore, what I am doing here is I am shorting F and G. Then, if it is shorted, then the current which is flowing is the short circuit current IF. That is, short circuit current is the IF. Okay, therefore, what you have to find out is Thevenin's equivalent, the reactance or impedance seen from the, the fault point and the open circuit voltage from the, the fault point, then they are connected in series. If they are shorted those things, then what we are getting is the fault current. Therefore, I am drawing here the diagram by drawing this ZTH, ZTH is parallel combination of these two reactances, then I am representing by ZTH or you can call XTH also if there is only reactance. Therefore, ETH is already there, this is IF. Therefore, IF can be calculated, that is a fault current can be calculated very easily, that is a voltage divided by the impedance, that is the ZTH is nothing but, it is a parallel combination of XJ plus XC in parallel with the XM, then ETH is nothing but the pre fault voltage. Therefore, your fault current will be ETH divided by ZTH. That is the, the fault current. This is all these quantities are in per unit. Therefore, the fault current is also you are getting in the, the per unit. If you want the actual value, you have to multiply base current to this. Now, this uh, the current we have drawn already that is Xe, Xe plus Xe and it is Xm. Then it is a Thevenin's equivalent the impedance. This is a Thevenin's equivalent voltage source and it is a shorted. Then you have seen this uh, the fault current IF. That is between F and J there is a fault current is flowing here. Then what I am interested here is what is the current that is fault current which is said by the generator and the, the fault current said by the, the motor. That is what I am interested. That is, it is a total field cur a fault current, then what is a, uh, the fault current which is contributed from the generator and motor. Therefore, I am representing here IFG is the fault current contributed from the, the generator, whereas IFM is a fault current which is contributed from the, the motor. The sum of these two is nothing but your, the total field current, a uh, fault current IF. Therefore, we have to find out what is a IFG and IFM. It is a very simple circuit. It is a parallel circuit. That is, I am drawing here. That is, it is a parallel circuit. The total current here is IF. The total current is IF. The current in the, the generator circuit that is in Xz and Xe is the total fault current multiplied by reactance in the other circuit divided by total reactance of the parallel combination. 
that is current in one circuit is equal to the total current multiplied by the reactance or impedance in the other circuit divided by total the reactance or impedance that we have to apply here that is a branch current method you have to apply here see here ifg that is this current is nothing but total current the total current here is if and reactance in the other circuit that is xm divided by total reactance what is the total reactance total reactance is x xg plus xc plus xm xg plus xc plus xm is the the total the reactance of the the system therefore you are getting ifg that is ifg is the current which is contributed from the the generator similarly you have to find out what is ifm ifm is the fault current which is contributed from the the motor side then how to find out this to find out this the motor current then total fault current multiplied by reactance in the other circuit the reactance in the other circuit is it is not only xg plus xc plus xm just you have to make it the correction here that is it is xg plus xm that is xc there is a at operatorial mistake here it is xg plus xm divided by the total reactance the total reactors therefore what you are getting here is the fault current contributed from the generator and the motor the fault current contributed from generator and the motor this is a formula what we are using then look into the the normal circuit normal circuit when there is a fault of this is a normal circuit that is a generator and the motor and there is a reactance of the the generator as well as the transmission line it is a reactance of the the motor then when there is no fault when there is no fault the current delivered by the generator is il which is the uh, taken by the the motor that is the current drawn by the motor is il current delivered by the generator is il current drawn from the generator to motor is il then there is a fault occurs here then there is a sudden fault occurs there is sudden fault occurs. then there is a fault current is flowing here when this fault current is flowing then there is a contribution from generator and motor that were represented as ifg and ifm under loaded condition therefore the total the current which is contributed from the the generator is the sum of il plus ifg that is the total current which is contributed from the the generator this current is called as subtransient current of the the or transient or subtransient or steady state total uh, steady state current of the the generator depending upon in which time period you are calculating the fault current okay this is the the total fault current that is contributed from the generator that is il plus ifc then when come to the the motor side when to come to the motor side in this case the total current total fault current that is ifm that is il minus ifm il is flowing towards the motor whereas ifm is towards the fault therefore the total fault current the contributed from the the motor is it is it is ifm minus il ifm minus il that is why i am writing here it is you can call it is under transient sub transient period it is ig double dash if it is in the transient period it is ig dash and if it is in the steady state it is ic here ig that is a total fault current which is contributed from the generator is it is ifg plus if and similarly the im double dash that is a total fault current from the motor is ifm minus il ifm minus il these are expressed in the per unit value whereas ifg and ifm were calculated from this equations that is from the parallel here there is a mistake that you have to make it correction 
that is xg plus xc that is also to be added means we are getting ifg and ifm here then il we are already calculated load current based on the given data therefore you have to find out the ig double dash and im double dash ig double dash and im double dash that is interesting th thing is that if you are adding ig double dash and im double dash what you are getting is that is the il get cancelled this is one more mistake here it is it is il this is also il this is a plus il this is minus il this is plus il this is minus il that you have to make it just a moment this is it is il that is the forward current is il here current is the ifg plus il and im double dash is if minus il this is how you have to find out the the total of what current counterfeited from generator and motor suppose if you want all the forward current in the the actual current in amperes in that case you have to multiply the base current to the individual forward current at appropriate the base quantity in that circuit so that you are getting the the fault current the actual fault current in the the different parts of the, the circuit it is a very simple method of calculating the fault current just you have to revive once again here that is it is a calculation of three phase fault just you are taking a sample system drawing the reactance diagram then find the the Thevenin's equivalent circuit seen from the, the fault point that is Fg. Then find out the what is the total fault current the, by making the drawing the equivalent circuit of the Thevenin's then finding out the, the fault current. Then here you can calculate the, the fault current contributed from generator and motor. Here just I will Yes, that is a corrected version is it is it is the motor current is xz plus xc both z e then divided by total reactance then what you have to do is you have to find out the total fault current contributed from generator and the motor it is ig double dash is equal to ifg plus il and it is im double dash is equal to ifm minus il then to get the, the actual value you have to multiply the appropriate the base current 